Zayden from Reap What You Sow Gardening. In this video, I'm going to be showing you our nursery or patio, beer patio. Let's do this. So, he has a little backstory. When we first moved in this house back in 2021, um, I have to say some odd person was living here. I'm not going to say what he did, but trash the house is only one thing I can say here. But when we first moved here one year later, which is 2022, I started, this was actually my garden. This area, the backyard was the backyard. This, oh, there's a little cardinal on a spectrum pole. Um, this was my back, my back garden. But I wanted to do it in the front, but I was screaming, no. I don't want to do it in the back, but I said, yeah, people can just steal my food, so I'm going to do it in the back. So, I did, so I got a cardboard box, used that for sweet potatoes, you know. I have a video, I have back in my first videos on my channel of, you know, you'll probably know what it is, a raised bed on the concrete. That's stupid because the plants wouldn't go anywhere where they wouldn't grow because it's concrete, you know. Rock, they don't grow like that, so. Then it was a nursery, and after that, I just said, screw it. Let's go abandon ship and just plan B, let it just rot. So now, I'm on a mission to redo this whole area and clean it up. I already swept and let's just show you what I'm working on for right now. So let's go ahead and see. That is a Sterilite um, drawer thing. And yes, this is a drawer because you saw it. And then I got a, a, a lid. And this is mango. These are mango trees coming up. But one of them is not doing so good, so I might have to whip one out. But yeah, I gotta be real careful because I don't want to break a mango stem. If the mango is dying, I don't want to get that sap on my hand because these are actually in the poison ivy family. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I mean, I don't care about the the medicinal crap about this. If there is probably some weird backing of it, but I'm not, I'm not touching sap out of this thing. I'm just not thinking about this. I'm not getting a rash and going to Moses Cone, so yeah. And if you don't know what Moses Cone is, it's a hospital. So we got some pots there. And you're gonna see a lot of these Bonnie Plants pots. Okay. And if you see that I wrote on here my handwriting, it's a little bit crappy. So that's how you know these are from a nursery. So we are going to be planning on showing a nursery this year, going on a tour of a real life one. So, <clears throat> yeah, this area is where we built the greenhouse, or the high tunnel, now it's over there, which is beautiful. Our amaryllis is actually growing at the house plant. Our peony is not doing anything. I don't know why it's not doing anything. So, <clears throat> pansies growing like crazy and also i don't know if you can see it but let me zoom in that is a flower of a kidney bean and it's purple it looks white on camera but it's actually actually purple how the heck do i get out of the zoom in all right there we go it's actually a purple flower so asparagus i think one asparagus is ready to harvest Good. We 
the electric culture tomato is doing fantastic. And yes, we do practice a lot of electric culture here at Reap What You Sow Gardening. As um, if you have captions on right now or subtitles, you're probably gonna hear Reap What You Saw. Like, oh, I saw that scarecrow right there. It's no, it's Reap What You Sow. Like you're sowing seeds, not sowing clothes. Sowing seeds. S O W. So. Look at this. More kidney beans. And they're the clumping flowers. They're in the clump. The flowers are in clumps. I don't know why. But here's some bean pods of kidney beans. Right there. Look how big they are. Let me flip the camera around real quick. So look how. Look how <laughs> Where is it? Where isn't it? Here, look how big these pods are. That's a big pod. That's a huge one. So they're still flowering. And by our corn. Wow. These are still flowering and they're huge. And there's bugs on the leaves. And um Yeah, every every single plant here is doing good. Our grains, our potatoes are still here, they're not withering away. They're not whittling, whittling. And our electroculture squash. Wow, look at it. So I'm a little bit concerned because, or we can just get these things to hurry, hurry, hurry. But I don't think there'll be any problem because that's turning a little bit orange. The flower on the little pumpkin on there. So that's gonna bloom real soon. And there's a flower that's maturing. It's gonna bloom, male and female. So hopefully we can pollinate them and get a squash. But there's also other squashes on there. Let me see if I can show you. So there's a nano, or is it nanoscopic? There's a couple more. So there's like one. Two, three, four squash on this plant, but look at this one. Yeah. That's a female flower. So let me show you the male one that's planning to grow. Yeah, where is it? Um oh here. Yeah, that one. Male flower. So you have to have male and female flowers. And I know this is a family friendly channel, but you know. Yeah. Male and female flowers in order to, how can I say this, get a squash in the only PG way possible. Um, because some people look at it a different way, and I'm not going down that road. So, our pumpkin squash is growing. <laughs> how many times do I have to show you this? It's so big to me. I've never got success with that, and I believe it's from a culture. Now, there's probably no worrying because all the other flowers here are getting big. So hopefully the bees will come here and just pollinate stuff. But I know this is supposed to be a patio. Oh, sorry, I keep burping. A patio tour. But I was just telling you in the intro what we're planning to do. So we got a bunch of stuff growing. Let's see what's happening. So. This squash plant here. Oh, wait, what the heck? This is our freedom blackberries. They're starting to flower, so we're going to get some big blackberries. Here's our wild ones. They're red. They're going to be ripening, but in the pumpkin plant in the greenhouse, female flower. So we're getting a good crop of everything here. So these strawberries have not grown good, but as soon as I put that electric ultra rod near them, they have just started just exploding with growth. And they actually might explode. <sighs> just kidding. But you know, electric ultra works, guys. So everything here is doing good, it's growing really big. And our cucumber plants growing. They're growing. So, that's just amazing. Now, I gotta have these male ones just flower before the female flowers 
Because if the female flowers before the male flowers, then there would be no pumpkin. Okay? The male has to, you know, get the pollen from to the female flower, from stem into stigma, and, you know, make the pumpkin. So I can eat pumpkin. Because <laughs> I really love squash and pumpkin. So you're going to hear, you know, different look at the squash on there, look at this pumpkin. It's the same exact thing. So I got to stick with one word. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share this around. Make sure you subscribe to Reap What You Saw Guarding. That helps me astronomically. Thanks for watching and keep on growing.